In this video, I will tell you the summary of Shakuntala by Kalidasa. Act 1 The Chase One day King Dushyanta goes hunting in the forest with his men. In the middle of the forest, they see a black buck grazing. He is glad to see it, but his joyful moment soon disappears when the black buck notices his presence. It runs with all its might, and Dushyanta intensely follows it in its chariot. After a long chase, his target is right in front of him. Suddenly, someone shouts at him, Stop! Hold! O oh, king, the deer belonging to the hermitage ought not to be struck down. He looks around and sees an ascetic with his disciple. The ascetic repeatedly asks him to withdraw his sharp-pointed arrow. Dushyanta agrees and spares the animal. The ascetic prays that God might bless him with a son. He invites Dushyanta to visit the hermitage of Kanva. Though Kanva is not present, his daughter Shakuntala is there to serve guest. Dushyanta hands his belongings over to his charioteer and enters the hermitage. He hears the voices of three hermit's girls. He looks around and sees Shakuntala with her friends Anasuya and Priyambada, nurturing the plants. Shakuntala's beauty captivates him and he instantly feels attracted to her. He hides behind the trees and starts watching Shakuntala's mesmerizing beauty. The three ladies are talking among themselves. Just then, a large bee comes out of the jasmine bush and bothers Shakuntala. She becomes frightened and asks for help. Dushanta finds it an opportunity to appear in front of them. He introduces himself as the minister in charge of religious affairs. Shakuntala also feels attracted to the king. Amid their conversation, an off-stage voice warns that the king's hunting in the area has scattered herds of antelope and a tusker rampages in the grove. The meeting is interrupted and they leave him. Act 2 The Concealment of the Telling King Dushanta sets a camp in the Hermitage's vicinity. Shakuntala is on his mind, therefore he looks for a way to enter the holy place. Luckily, two young hermits come to meet Dushanta. They request him to protect them from demons during performing their sacred rites and stay for some nights there. King Dushanta reverently accepts their proposal. After a while, Karavaka carries a message from the Queen Mother. She wants Dushanta to be with her on the last day of her fast, the safeguarding of the son's succession. Though the commitment and the command puzzle Dushanta, he stays there and sends Madhavya, his companion and the court jester to take his place as a son and perform all the ritual duties at the ceremony. Madhavya happily leaves the place. Act 3 Love's Fruition The king sees Shakuntala reclining on a slab strewn with flowers. He watches her from a short distance. She has been restless and dejected since her first meeting with the king. Her friends inquire about the cause of her distress. She confesses her love for Dushyanta. I am pining for love of him. The king is overjoyed to hear that. He comes to them and also expresses his love for Shakuntala. He secretly weds her by following the Gandharva mode of marriage. Act 4 Shakuntala's Departure After their marriage, King Dushyanta returns to his capital. After his departure, Shakuntala remains mostly lost in her thoughts. One day, Sage Durvasa visits the hermitage. He stands at her door but the absent-minded Shakuntala does not notice him. The sage feels offended and says, Woe to you, woe, you insolent girl who disregards the honored guest standing at your door. He curses her that the man she is thinking about will forget her. It dismays Anusuya and Priyambada to hear that. Anusuya requests the sage to forgive her friend. The sage says, My curse cannot prove false, but its power will cease the moment she presents some ornament as a token of recognition. Both friends keep it between them because they think Shakuntala cannot deal with the misery. 
and Bhadila's voice in From Skanvo, Shakuntala's foster father, that Shakuntala is bearing the son of King Dushyanta. He soon prefers to send Shakuntala to the capital with an escort of hermits. Everyone in the hermitage mourns at the time of her departure. Priyambada and Anasya embrace her friend and suggest she should show him the signet ring which King Dushyanta once offered her if he cannot recognize her. After that, she tearfully leaves her home. What does happen when Dushyanta sees Shakuntala in his court? If you are curious, watch the next video.